What's up, guys? Welcome back for our week six a battle for the NPL Miners, uh, season three. If I sound off a little bit during this recording, it's because I just got finished playing some Rocket League. It was blowing off some steam, and that didn't go well either. So, yeah, so I thought I'd just record my game and get it over with uh, because it's, uh, it's, it's starting to get to me. But anyway, um, my opponent this week is the Anaheim Altarius, coached by Ace of Base. Uh, if you guys want to go check him out in the description, definitely do so if you want to see his side of the battle. But uh, let's go over his team really quickly. He has a Hoopa Unbound broken. Uh, Zapdos, very good against me. Uh, Mega Altaria, also extremely threatening against me. Doug Trio, Metagross, uh, which is just a pain in the ass. Uh, Decidueye, Milotic, Darmanitan, Stunfisk, which is surprisingly annoying. Porygon 2, impossible to wear down. Mean Shao, which runs through my team. And Ambipom. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the team he has. You guys see it on the right side, so we'll just go over the team that we're bringing. So, uh, OG Hypnotoad, uh, Selgor. I don't know why these aren't together. It's supposed to be like this, but anyway. Uh, Selgor, Focus Sash, Unburden. Sludge Bomb is for the Mega Altaria. Spikes is because if I get up hazards, his only form of defogging is... Uh, well, his only form of hazard removal is defog, and I have a Defiant Mon. Uh, as you can see, he only has Zapdos and Decidueye to get rid of hazards. Uh, Energy Ball is there for the uh, Dug Trio after rocks at Oko's. Uh, and Knock Off is there for certain items, such as Metagrosses and whatnot. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, next up, we have Bisharp with a Shookaberry, Defiant. It's got Knock Off, Iron Head, Sucker Punch, and Stealth Rocks. Uh, Knock Off hits the uh, vast majority of his team for good damage. Uh, Iron Head, of course, is there for the Mega Altaria. Sucker Punch uh, is there to revenge things like Metagross, Doug Trio, uh, whatnot, Darmanitan. Uh, and Stealth Rocks, of course, because, again, he's very weak to hazards. If he tries to get rid of them in front of this thing, it's not going to go well for him. Uh, Shookaberry is there so that I can take even plus one Jolly Altaria's Earthquake or Return uh, with this investment. As you can see, we're 172. Uh, 248 uh, with Adamant Nature, 64 in defense. This allows me to live. And then 24 speed, I just tossed it in there in case he tries to speed creep on non-speed uh, for whatever reason. And, uh, yeah, the, you guys can see this spread right here. It's max special attack, max speed. This actually um, outspeeds Mega Altaria uh, Jolly at plus one. Uh, so I'm able to sludge bomb it if I've already gotten off some damage on it. Speaking of damage, we have Jave Creams 14, the Vaporeon this week. Uh, once again, it uh, comes almost every week, but uh, Toxic, Protect, Wish, Roar. Because why would I run any off offensive moves? That would just be dumb, right? Um, and the idea of this set is just to, to roar him out around on my Toxics. Uh, on my toxics, on my hazards, and uh, toxic his entire team. The only thing that uh, doesn't take toxic on his team is Metagross, and uh, that doesn't appreciate a skull typically, so I can't see it staying in. Uh, unless, of course, well, you'll see that during the game. But uh, yeah, then we have Kieran Black, Expert Belt. Uh, we have enough speed to outspeed Mega Altaria at max speed. Uh, I also packed this speed for something else, I believe it was Hoop Unbound. Um, if I toxic his Milotic with Vaporeon, typically uh, I wouldn't be able to break it with Fusion Bolt because of Marvel Scale, but thanks to Terra Volt, we go straight through that and we do two hit KO even with this investment, even if he's max defense. Uh, we have one nine, a 192 in uh, special attack with a t uh, rash nature, excuse me, uh, so that we can uh, hit Mega Altaria as hard as possible after rocks it goes straight down even if it's max HP. Uh, Earth Power is there for the Metagross, for the Zapdos if it wants to roost on me if it's max speed. Uh, it's also there for the Stun Fisk. Uh, and I believe there was one other thing I can't remember now. No, that's about it. Uh, mostly for the stun fisk and uh, well, ice beam hits that anyway. But it's it's for the uh, the metagross so that I can't not hit it. Uh, protect is there for the mean shaw. If it comes in on me, I want to scout if it's scarf. I'm gonna go for protect. If he goes for high jump kick, he loses half his health. So very nice. Uh, and uh, fusion bolt we already explained. Then we have Diglett Dreams. Oh, great. Okay, so Showdown just wiped my set. Well, this is an Asmon anyway. Uh, and then we have Delmize, uh, Heavy Metal Pokemon, Colberberry, Steelworker. Uh, this is to take on his Mean Chow once again. I can switch into it relatively well, even with a Col because of the Colberberry. I'm almost max defense. Uh, I'm running an Adamant Nature with uh, no attack investment. Actually, I think this was messed up too. Why are my EVs all over the place? Oh my god, this is horrible. This is supposed to be max defense. Um, and yeah. Uh, actually, I think I was Adamant but I don't think I had any investment here. I think I just went like this. But anyway, um, this can take hits from uh, a fully physically offensive Metagross, as well as his Mean Shao. I have Toxic on there because this only switch into this realistically. If he doesn't bring Zapdos, is going to be the P2. If I Toxic that thing, it's going to be very easy to wear down his team. Mega Altaria is his only heal beller, and if he doesn't bring an offensive, it's a lot less of a threat. Uh, Heavy Slam can Oko Mega Altaria from full. Um, 
and it can also Oko Mean Shao from full. So that's why I have that there. Earthquake, of course, is to hit the Stunfisk, uh, the Metagross as well, the Dug Trio for good damage. Heavy Slam hits it harder anyway, but Zapdos, if it wants to roost in front of me, if it has to because it's, it's toxic or whatever, what, what have you, I can Earthquake on the roost. Uh, and yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much the Del Delmai set. I can also take a hit from uh, Hoop Unbound with this spread uh, with a Hyperspace Fury or even a Dark Pulse because of this thing's great defensive stats. And uh, I can fire back a Heavy Slam and knock it out. So yeah, that's the team. Anyway, let's get right into the battle. I'll show you guys how it went. All right, guys. So as you see, he brought the... Oh, well, we're on the wrong side. Give me a sec. <laughs> All right, much better. All right, so he brought the P2, the Stunfisk, the Metagross, the Megalitaria, the Dug Trio, and the Darmanitan. The only one I kind of didn't expect to come was the, uh, the Darm uh, not the Darmanitan, the, uh, the Stunfisk. Everything else I really expected. A uh, Stunfisk was kind of like a 50-50. Uh, I did more so expect one of his defoggers, mainly Zapdos, because it does handle my team relatively well for the most part. But uh, anyway, we're going to lead off with our dedicated lead, which is the Selgor. I'm going to get up a spike because I don't think that this thing has bullet punch. So I think I'm going to get up a spike for free and just be able to, cool, yeah, get up another spike or go for a knockoff. I click knockoff right here. You got an attack ray, so that's going to make it hard for anything else to kill it. Uh, and he's going to go for a bullet punch on the following turn. Uh, I'm now going to go into Vaporeon. I'm going to set up a wish. He's going to go into his Mega Altaria. And uh, immediately on the following turn, I do see that this thing is offensive because it sets up a, an agility in front of me as I go for a toxic. And I hit it with that, so that's very nice. I'm sitting in a comfortable position. I'm going to go for another Wish right here, as he is going to go for a Toxic, surprisingly. I was like, okay, well, this is not good. Now my Vaporeon is toxic It's basically useless, and it can't sit here and roar. So I'm going to roar on this turn, because I don't want his uh, his Altaria uh, staying in and just attacking me for free. Actually, I'm going to switch out, excuse me, into Delmize, because I can take any hit. Uh, as now he's toxic as well, so he's threatened. He's going to switch out of his Stun Fisk, uh, fearing the Earthquake, and he's going to go into his P2. This is the scenario that I envisioned. Uh, I'm going to Earthquake it for a little bit of damage, and then I am going to get off a Toxic as he goes for a Recover. He is faster than me. It doesn't matter. He didn't go for an Ice Beam on that turn. I'm going to predict an Ice-type move on the following turn because my team is very weak to Ice, and I'm going to switch out into my Bisharp. It's going to be able to take the Ice Beam just fine. Luckily, I have enough speed on here to outspeed this thing pretty easily, and uh, I'm going to get up my Rocks, but... Mr. Ace of Base has the Hidden Power fighting, coming through, killing me. Even if that was Hidden Power Fire, I don't think it took me out because of my HP investment. Uh, his, uh, Porygon is toxic, so that's quite nice. But I am going to go into Kirim. I am just going to fire off a Ice Beam right here, I believe. Probably should have gone for Earth Power on this turn. Uh, I actually go for Protect uh, to see what he wants to do. I, I probably should have gone for Earth Power. Uh, but I'm going to switch out now into Vaporeon as he's going to go for a Meteor Mash. That's fine. It's all good. Uh, I'm going to be able to roar this thing out pretty easily again He's probably fearing scald so roar is always my play as he is going to switch out into his Porygon 2 leaving it at 39% So this is really nice after the next round of hazards it comes in at 15 So I'm gonna get rid of this thing switch it back out He's gonna go into his Metagross and right here He makes a play that I don't really understand and he's going to go for a meteor mash Actually, he's gonna go for an earthquake So I think he's gonna earthquake on the following turn again as I go for a wish uh, I could go for protect actually I think I do go for protect to keep this thing healthy and uh, I keep it above 60% roughly. So, yeah, good. a lot of good that's going to do me. As you guys are going to see, I'm going to lose 25% uh, of my health. I'm going to be at 59. Now I'm going to switch out into Delmize. And, of course, this wouldn't have been a 2-hit KO had he not gotten another damn attack raise. So this Metagross proving to be a big issue. And on top of that, he crits me. Just in case it was possibly a roll, now it doesn't even matter. So now I'm going to go into Kieran Black. I'm going to hope that Earth Power knocks him out. I calc'd it. Yeah, if he's AV, I... I have a chance but no uh that's gonna live and now i'm just gonna lose to this metagross essentially because uh, vaporeon doesn't have any offensive moves so earthquake did 30 before but this time it actually does 54 so a little bit of a consolation i do get off a roar right here and i'm gonna live the round of uh of toxic because of leftovers and uh, i'm gonna go for another roar because uh I, I guess maybe i can catch his metagross and gain back some differential i'm gonna go for a roar uh, i do catch his metagross and that's gonna knock it out uh, now I'm going to go into Flygon, and Flygon can't beat the entirety of his team, so uh, that's pretty much GG, guys. He's going to bring in his, uh, his Altaria right here, and uh, I am faster than Altaria. Uh, I did uh, EV this thing to outspeed Altaria, but uh, Iron, Ta Iron Tail hit. Wait a minute. When do I hit an Iron Tail? Hold on a second. Wait a minute. His P2 is really low. Wait up. Let, let me go for a Dragon Dance here. Hold on. Huh. Um, 
Give me Earthquake. He goes for another sub. It's probably some kind of berry. Maybe Lychee, maybe Salic. Not sure yet, but I'm gonna get up another Dragon Dance uh, in case his Darm is Max Speed Jolly Scarf. I'm gonna go for another Earthquake. Uh, sub, again, okay. He gets the Lychee Berry, so that's good for him. I'm gonna knock out his sub right here with an Earthquake. Uh, crit didn't matter, obviously. Uh, he's gonna go for Reversal, and uh, yeah, now I'm in range of Sucker Punch, but he doesn't have Sucker Punch. Wait a minute, guys. Hold on a second. Diglett Dreams! Matt! Coming through! No way! Did we just... Did you? Did we just... Reverse sweep with a Flygon? Guys, I think we just reverse swept with a Flygon. <gasps> My week is made! <laughs> That's right, guys. We won! I thought I was gonna lose! I was down! Five mons to one! <laughs> And Flygon just killed everything, and I stunned it on him too by going for Continental Crush on the last turn because I had that for Zapdos. <laughs> it was just perfect. Guys, uh, please go check out Ace and his side of the battle. Like, this was this was amazing. Uh, everybody in the chat was like freaking out. They're like, wait, wait. <laughs> when I got up the second Dragon Dance, they were all just like, wait a minute, wait, what, what's going on? What's gonna happen here? Everybody was predicting HP Ice Dug Trio as he subbed up, and I was like, wait, no, no, guys, no, he's not HP Ice. <laughs> I calc reversal uh, from 7%. I knew that it couldn't kill me. Um, because of my HP investment, I had 56 HP. Uh, I, I lied to you guys, the, the Flygon set wasn't wiped. I wiped it so that you guys wouldn't know what would happen at the end of this game. But I did bring Dragon Dance Flygon. Finally, I brought Dragon Dance Flygon. I wasn't afraid to bring it, and it actually put in work. Oh, I'm so relieved guys uh, like this was this was make or break for me because we were we were um, We were three and two if I went down three and three that was really really bad going into the next week because I had a really bad chance of making playoffs and then But with with this uh, this win this 1-0 win over ace um, I do Excel to a four and two record. So if we can win our last game uh, We have I think I think we auto make playoffs. I'm pretty sure in our division we automatically make playoffs in the NPL minors, which is uh, fantastic. It's it's our first season in, so I'm really happy with my results right now. I played terribly against Jar, uh, against Rob. The Focus Blast miss kind of cost me the game, but I'm not gonna blame it on that because it's a 70% accurate move. So whatever. But uh, against Jar, I just played terribly. I have a, a knack for playing terribly against Jar for some reason. He just like gets in my head. Uh, but I've been doing pretty well against everybody else. I mean, I had that game clutched against Rob. Uh, if it wasn't for the Focus Blast miss, we would be 5-1 up right now. But being 4-2, if I can just beat David Magic in our last game, uh, then I can just, yeah, uh, I'll make playoffs and hopefully continue this for you guys because this has been hell, guys. I had to build this team the day of the battle. Uh, the, actually, the day I'm recording this. And um, I have to build five other teams this week. I have to build my GPC team, which should be going out on Saturday. And also on Saturday is March Madness. And I have to build four teams for my pool games in March Madness. Four teams, guys, in like three days. And I'm freaking out. Not to mention my GPC team, which I have to build like immediately tomorrow after reporting this. Uh, if you're wondering about the fourth wall, I did have this battle on Tuesday. I'm recording this on Tuesday night. So yeah. Um, Incredible. We were able to pull out a Flygon sweep. Uh, it's a much shorter video than usual because I didn't have as much uh, commentary on everything. Uh, if I go back and reset, uh, I'll go over some like important turns. Um, the first attack raise didn't matter because I pressured him out with uh, my Vaporeon because he couldn't touch it and I had a feeling he wouldn't run Thunder Punch. Uh, this, this was a bad play on my part. I, I probably should have scouted for the Bullet Punch and gone into Vaporeon first, but I didn't want him Thunder Punching me on a predicted uh, switch. So I, I instead went for this. Uh, and yeah, let's just go over this. So the toxic into the agility. Uh, when I got my Vaporeon toxic, I started panicking a little bit because I was afraid that I wouldn't have enough survivability for his Metagross and for the rest of his team specifically as well. Uh, toxicing this thing was huge. The fact that he didn't go for an Ice Beam first was massive for me. And then getting up Stealth Rocks, like you guys saw, the Altaria died to the uh, Iron Tail later in the game uh, after he killed everything. Uh, this moment right here, this wouldn't have happened if I didn't have those rocks up because that was a roll. The min roll, I believe on max HP, which I don't think he was, uh, is 
and he was at 57 so if for whatever reason he actually was max hp with which with agility is very plausible uh then there's a very good chance that i wouldn't have knocked that thing out if rocks weren't up so getting them up with bisharp and then just uh scanning his dug trio set going for the second dd uh, I didn't win me the game because ultimately his, he told me his Darmanitan was banded, so I was outspeeding it anyway. Him not having Sucker Punch won me the game, like, that was huge. And then just getting the knockouts on everything, like, that was insane. That was fantastic. But yeah, guys, that's uh, that's the game against Ace. Again, go check him out in the description. Go check out all the coaches as well. The season is heating up. There's some crazy moments right now, especially, like, this one. This reverse sweep was, was insane. I've never pulled off something like this, so... Uh, I'm really, really proud that I was able to keep my composure, uh, recognize Flygon as a potential win condition, and w after I killed his Altaria, and Doug Trio came in, I was like, oh my god, he's gonna give me the game right now. <laughs> I was like, no way, this is actually happening, and that's exactly what happened, and that was that was crazy. Zazo was watching the game, uh, he told uh, Ace to go into Stunfisk on my Iron Tail, uh, and hope for static, and <laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> If he actually got the static, like, I, w I would have been so salty if that happened. But then again, Iron Tail could miss. And if I missed the Stun Fist, then I got off a free EQ on something on his team. Something was dropping. So, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was yes and no, a correct play. I mean, going for the static would have been smart. But if he switches out of Altaria and I miss the, uh, the Earthquake, uh, I miss the Iron Tail, Earthquake knocks out his Stun Fist. And then Earthquake also knocks out his Altaria from the range it comes in at after the next rock and Spike switching. So... I mean, it really didn't make a huge difference because Earthquake goes to uh, 150 with stab and Iron Tail goes to 200 because it's super effective. So the difference in damage is only 25% realistically. Uh, so yeah, Earthquake was easily going to take out Altaria if he switched it out for whatever reason. So he banked on, uh, it was the same chance of him getting static uh, as me missing. So he went for the miss instead of the static, which is a good play on, on Ace's part. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, I extended this way past where it should have been. Uh, if you guys did watch up until this point, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your support, all your continued support. I'm back on track now. I've got my head back in the game. Uh, yes, I had some pretty bad Rocket League games right before recording this. That wasn't false, uh, but I did want to get myself into a bad mood before recording this uh, so that I could re-watch this and be like, oh my god, that's, this actually happened. So. Yeah, that's it. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.